Hello everyone, FunshotX here. Welcome back to Let's Play Space Engineers on Planets Season 2. Um, last time we uh, landed our lunar lander, or not our lunar lander, our whatever lander thing that was, on the, the middle of this lake, ice lake, uh, took the whole thing apart and started building this base. We got uh, six solar cells set up and they are starting to collect power again from the sun and we are about to finish off our battery. Um, if I had to do this whole thing again, I would have left the assembler intact on this ship and uh, disassembled the material I needed first and then take it apart so then we'd have a battery a lot sooner. Um, there's also another method for starting out on a let's play like this that Bevo does, or did, where he used a merge block to merge his base to the ship and then use the batteries on the ship um, and not having to build his own. So there you got a couple options. Let's see if these are about done yet. They make a horrible sound, but we are nearly complete. After this, we'll be able to charge up a big, a big amount of power in that battery, and then when we go to craft something like this, it won't be uh, making this horrible noise. <laughs> 44, 45, there we go. So go back to our inventory and take these 45, and let's put them on here. You notice I kind of filled in some of the blocks just with uh, steel plates because we have a ton. No, we need one more. Are you kidding me? How did I not make the perfect amount? Wow. Okay, well, one more. Um, production. Oh, it's right there. It was sitting there the whole time. Okay, whatever. I don't know how I missed it. There we go. We've got battery power. Perfect. So we can go ahead and look at this interface here. Now, batteries have their default mode, but you can also force them into other modes. A recharge mode means it will not expel any energy. It will only charge up. And that's good if you want to have, like, a backup supply that you only use manually later when you want it. Um, discharge means it will not charge. It will only get rid of it. So if you wanted to, you had a big backup and you all of a sudden needed a big boost of energy, you could discharge all your batteries real quick and then you get a huge power input. Semi-auto means whenever it gets to zero, it charges. Whenever it gets to max, it discharges. And that's okay, but with the days changing from day to night, I always want it charging during the day. You know, I don't want it to it say, oh, I have so, like one megawatt of power, I'm not going to charge. Something like that. So I leave these all off and let the battery do its own thing. You can see that right now we're getting 648 kilowatts of power in, and we're doing one kilowatt out. Um, and we're storing. Why isn't that storing going up? I guess it's since it's megawatts, it's going really slow. Why isn't that going up? It says it'll fully recharge in three hours. That'll be, that's, um, how many of my days? My days are 20 minutes long, or 10 minutes long. I think 20 minutes cycles. So 10 minutes of day, six, eight, that'll be 18 days to fill that thing completely wow okay <laughs> i think it because it holds a lot of power but now let's go see if we can craft something as assembler without that horrible noise that we should have a, a good supply so let's go to production let's just make uh what do we need we don't really need anything <laughs> i've got so much stuff um if we go into some of these blueprints, I know that we're going to need, like, tires. Does this have the wheels? Yeah, there we go. Let's get some wheels. So, ten, or, uh, four of these wheels. There we go. So, it's, this is, I like these blueprints. I didn't know about this in the last season, but if you need to make four wheels, obviously, you don't know how much stuff that is, you can just click on it, and it'll queue it up in here and make exactly what it needs for you to build those things. So, that's pretty cool. So we can now we can look at our battery and see how it's doing. It's outputting 560 kilowatts, inputting 159. So we are we're fine to run our assembler just on the six solar panels, as long as it's daytime. <laughs> um, at nighttime, it's going to start draining our stored power quite f quickly. And if we put a refinery in here, holy crap, that's going to go slow. So uh, I. I think we'll definitely move this assembler later, but for right now, I think that's good. Uh, we don't really need that ship at all anymore. I've moved everything over to this storage container. So I think let's let's start making a rover. I think that'll, that'll be a good next plan. 
Now, I went... Oh, goodness. Uh, I need to, like... Give me a ramp. There. <laughs> it's an expensive ramp, but it's a ramp. Um, I learned a few things about building these uh, stuff and planets. It's very difficult because you don't have that jetpack where you can just fly around your stuff and weld it. You've got to be able to access it at all times. So that makes it a little more challenging. Um, also, if you're building a rover and you place the landing gear on the ground, it's very difficult to put the wheels down because they interact with intersect with the ground and you can't do that. So here's my trick. You guys learn a trick on Funshine's video. Build something like this. Oops, I'm going to need it. Yeah, we'll need to go a little bit higher, but... Um, right like that. It's basically a crane, a fake crane. Okay. Is that going to be high enough? Yeah, that should be high enough. So then we'll just build this out like that, okay? So that's going to be our crane. And we'll put our landing gear attached to that. So new small ship... And you can see we should be able to. Why can't we? Oh, because we don't have co the right components. What do we need? Uh, construction components. I was going to say, I, I thought you could build on the ceiling. And I'm right. So, construction components. Where are you? Okay. Here we go. Because we're going to get rid of this landing gear anyway, we might as well just put it on the ceiling. Now we can uh, build to our heart's content onto this thing. So let's see, how, how big do we want this? Probably like five across. Do you want a, a pretty big um, wheelbase? Otherwise this thing will tip over. <laughs> so I think that'll be good. Let's... Uh, Build it down a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. And let's build along like that. Okay. So fill these in. Oops. Nope, don't build that there. I might have built the crane a little bit too high because now I can't reach these. Well, that's okay. We'll we'll figure it out. We can build some scaffolding as uh, as well. Okay, so that's the basic size of our rover. Let's put the wheels on. So the wheels, if you just grab these normal wheels, I had to learn this the hard way because they don't work. Um, and you try and attach them on like this, they they don't spin. <laughs> They're just like a bumper almost. So you can put them there, but it's not going to rotate, and it won't have any. Uh, absorption so instead you want to grab these guys the wheel suspension and I'm gonna go with the three by three wheels they seem to look pretty good and then you look at this and you're like well where the heck's the wheel and the wheel actually attaches to that long hexagon thing that's facing down right now so that's what we need to face out so something like that and then you want the little triangle piece that looks like the suspension on top so just like that and then you can see it adds the wheel. Cool. And I'm actually, I don't want the wheels out that far. So let's uh, let's grind that back down. Come on. Come on. All right, we're gonna build something out like this. And it's all about the scaffolding. <laughs> Come on, jump up on top of there, dude. Okay, so what if instead of putting that there and there, we just did one right there? Is that going to work? I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, it couldn't put the wheel because we were too close. All right, that's fine. So let's instead, we'll do them like right there. Wheel cannot be placed. Why not? Because of that guy up there? Hmm. That's really interesting. 
Let me get rid of that one and put a temporary block down here just to get up higher. Okay. Let's try that now. Oh, maybe this one too. We should be able to get a wheel on like that now. I hate aligning these wheels. Oh, that was actually perfect. There we go. We got a wheel. Okay, that's not going to be as bad. So, let's do the same thing over here. Try and get back up on this platform. Did I fall off of it? Come on, jump, dude. Honestly. And we'll put those back after we get the wheels in place. Where is it? That way. Is that the right way? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Liking it. Do the same thing in the back. There we go. We got our rover. Okay, cool. And as you can see, if I had put the uh, the landing gear on the ground, see how far these wheels extend down, we wouldn't have been able to, to build it how we wanted to. Okay, so that's good. That's perfect. I think I'm going to just make the outline and, and I'll uh, weld it off camera you can see I've got to weld the wheels separate from the actual thing like uh, the shocks okay so on top now we're gonna be putting we need to put a um, a cockpit we need to put a what else do we need a battery so we need to build another battery let's see what we can do technically I could let it down off of its hinge right now Let's do that. So we're going to go ahead and... Oops. Let me up. You can just get rid of this block here and it should fall. There we go. Perfect. Cool. Awesome. Now, if your car ever flips or breaks a wheel, good luck putting a new one back on. It is painful. <laughs> you almost have to put thrusters on the thing to send it into the air. Um, I might like have a piston that comes down and connects and like lifts it up. That'd be cool to have like a, a um, I don't know what it would be. You almost like a utility car that would come and it could lift it off. <laughs> it would drive around and lift it off. Okay, so I think we're good here to put these back in place. Now I can put what. <laughs> that happens every so often. You just randomly die. Just got to learn to live with it. Um, it's happened to me a couple times now. Got to love it. <laughs> um, but luckily you do have your backpack now. And a lot of people I've seen are like, I can't collect from my backpack. It's a bug. You don't hit T on this thing to collect. You actually hit I and there's all your stuff. And as soon as you take it off, the backpack will disappear. So that's how you get your stuff if you die. Yeah, I've noticed that jumping around this kind of stuff kills you a lot of times if you actually land on it. Okay, can I get on top of this guy? Yes, I can. Whoa, he's moving. He's moving. Stop. Stop. Okay, it's fine. See? Dead again. Don't jump around a car. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Not a good idea. I need to get a medic station on my new base because if that runs out of power, I won't be able to respawn and I'll be dead. Oh, awesome. All my wheels broke because I haven't, are you kidding me? Um, when was the last auto save? Well, I got a lot of tools. Wish you could disassemble those. Um, give me a sec. I'm going to go back to an autosave and just see if it's back to where I had this thing hanging. Hold on. Man, guys, that was tough, but I finally got this thing. I, I didn't have a backup of before, so I had to just um, push it onto like a little uh, 
thing here with the edges hanging off and then drill out the hole so I could put it here. That is just painful. There needs to be a way where you can like lift these up off the ground. But at least now I've welded some stuff so hopefully it's a lot stronger than it was before. Okay, I think we're good. Yep, everything here is welded. These take steel plates, large tubes, construction units, and this, the jacks take uh, motors, steel tubes, construction components, and steel plates. So pretty easy to build. Let's go ahead and put a um, cockpit on this. Uh, let's go with the regular cockpit. Oops, I already had that on there. Oh, well. oh it's upside down. Nice. <laughs> I think because I put the... Um, the... Uh, landing gear upside down it defaults the cockpit to be upside down but as soon as i put the cockpit right side up it'll it'll fix all that so i need some interior plates let's see if that's enough okay and we can just go ahead and stick that stick out in front maybe yeah like that, and let's get some slope blocks. And we'll aim them. How did I, oh, when I asked when I reloaded it, reset my color options. It's okay. All right, what have we forgot? Displays, okay, that's not bad. Displays and bulletproof glass. That thing didn't despawn like it said it would, so that's good. How are we doing on energy? 70%? That seems good to me. So, bulletproof glass. And displays. I think we might not have enough. Crap. Oh, we're good. Okay, cool. Alright, so that thing is like so now what do we need next we'll need I guess a battery so they can actually move and I how am I gonna charge the thing I need to be able to dock it with my station to be able to charge the battery because I don't want to put like a, a solar panel on the thing so that means let's get a connector I don't I don't know if small vehicles will charge through a landing gear they might who knows? And the, the only purpose of this connector is just to attach to our base so that it charges it. If there's an easier way, let me know, guys. So let's put it right there on the back, and it'll look cool. <laughs> ah, one motor short. Okay, I'll fill that in in a minute. Now, can I get up on top of this without push dying? Let's save it again. Uh, save as... Planet's car. There we go. <laughs> Jump. Jump up there. Nope. Oh, oh, don't die. There we go. We might have made it on. We made it on. We took some health damage. We're half health. <laughs> okay. And on here, what do we want to put? Well, there's one thing that you might forget to put on here. The earth is filled with atmosphere, but this cockpit is not. So you need to fill it. So you need an air... Is it oxygen... Yeah, this guy, the air vent needs to be put on there. And it can go on either one of these uh, little doors here. Or, or if you're using conveyors, it'll work there as well. So we'll just put one on like that. He needs some metal plates, okay. That will give us air. If you don't do that and you get inside this, you will die if you take your helmet off. So, <laughs> And you will die quickly. Um, let's see. What else do we need? Let's get that battery on here just so we carve out a spot for it. Oh, that's a big honking battery. It's a lot bigger on a station, but even on this guy, it's huge. Let's put him, what, right on the back somewhere? Right there, okay. Looking like a Tonka truck. That's what I was kind of going for. Um, let me get a ramp here so I can kind of get up on top of the thing. And jump. Okay, so we'll need construction components and only 20 fuel cells, so that's not that bad. 
her power cells. And is that going to be everything? Oh, we need an ore detector. We definitely want an ore detector. So let's put that right... Uh, stick it up, maybe, like that. Sure. We need construction components. All right, let's go get those. We needed metal grids, construction components, motors, and power cells. We can get all that crafted. So production. Target that thing. There we go. Um, power cells right here. We need 20. Okay. Inventory. Some metal grids. Construction components. I forgot the rest of it. <laughs> Crap. Already. Oh, man. That's all right. Let's get these things going. Those metal grids. Motors. There we go. Okay. And we got our 20 power cells. That was easy. Whoa! That was a nice jump. I didn't know I, not know I could jump that high. Apparently running off a, a thing. You can you can get some decent hang time. Wow. Okay. So here is our ore detector. And I'm thinking if we're out and about and we get a bunch of ore, we might as well store it in a cargo container as well. So let's put a cargo container on here. Just attach that, rotate it so it's right side up. Sure. And we could put it attached to this thing so we could export, but uh, I should have thought about that before. <laughs> okay. We're almost done, and we can take this guy for a spin. So we need the air. Or detector. Oh, a detector component. Okay. I don't know if it's wise to stand on something that you are welding. But you see batteries come with one charge of power, so you, they do give you a little bit of charge. Now the problem here is how do... Oh, oh, oh. How am I going to weld the rest of the undercarriage? Are you propped up there? I think you are propped up if I take this guy out. Yep, cool. I can fit under here. Do you like my yellow Tonka? Oh, I can't reach. Uh, what if we should crouch down? Oh, there we go. Crouch. Sweet. Crouching has uses. <laughs> I'll show you another uh, use for crouch in just a second when I get this done. I think there's some that aren't finished right there. Oh, that's a bummer. Maybe they are. Um, let's just get rid of these real quick. Yeah, they're done. Okay, cool. So they, um, the game, the creators of the game, have nerfed the drill by a little bit. The problem with this nerf that they didn't expect is when you look straight down, you're trying to dig down, your drill can't reach. <laughs> it, it can't drill down because they nerfed it. So the best thing to do if you want to drill is crouch down and then drill. It'll be It's so much better. See how that works a lot easier? So that's definitely keep, keep crouch bound to a hotkey all right we get one more detector component we can take this puppy out for a spin except that block is not painted yellow tires oh yeah gotta have yellow tires <laughs> uh, yellow cockpit what else needs to be yellow everything yellow all right, that looks better. All right, let's get that detector component and start driving, although it is nighttime, so it's... Oh, we need lights, don't we? Yeah, we're going to need lights. Inventory. Do we have a detector? Uh, nope, that does not work. Okay. Detector component. Do we grind those all down? Nope, there we go. And I only needed one, right? Oh, well, I brought ten. jump and weld okay we're good to go let's get inside oh lights spotlights spotlights 
what we're going to do with the spotlights is let's put them right here and right here. They cost like nothing, so it doesn't hurt to put a bunch of lights on there. And in the back, let's put some more. There and right there. How about that? Oh, I fell in the hole. You can go away now. And then what we'll do is we'll go with lights. Let's see, control panel, spotlight three and four. We will make red. Now oh, that's cyan. Red, uh, this way. There, now we got brake lights. <laughs> awesome. Ooh, spooky. I think this guy is ready to go. All right, so let's look out here. The world gets a lot darker. And apparently I just... Oh, 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 jetpack. Oh, crap. Oh, get out, get out. Ah! Put your helmet on, dude. All right. So we apparently the oxygen vent does not default to on. So put our helmet on so we can actually live inside this thing. Yeah, this will kill you if you don't get it right. Hit G. Go to air vent, put it here, and go depressurize on, and then hit 1, and we should see oxygen go to high up in that left. Now I can get out. I should be able to anyway. Let's save it just in case. And we will take our helmet off and get inside. And we aren't dying. Okay, cool. So let's see if we can drive this guy off of wherever he is stuck on. Oh, 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 stop, stop. We forgot something big time. Okay, so um, G, go to the cockpit, put the cockpit down here and put a handbrake on. That's also important because you can basically lock your wheels. doesn't always work if you're on a big slope. It won't lock them. It can still roll down. I want to put something on here that's pretty critical, and that's a gyroscope. This prevents you from flying, from ro from killing yourself, basically. If you don't put it on, you will, you will roll no matter what. Unless you, like, drive, like, five miles an hour. The gyroscope will keep you up. <laughs> okay, so a couple other things we want to do. Let's do the lights all at maximum radius. And uh, intensity is probably good. The gyroscope is good um cockpit handbrake is on dampeners we don't really care about this is the main cockpit battery is fine it'll last us one day air vent depressurizes is on okay um now here's the wheels we get all four wheels and i don't remember which ones are front which ones are back so <laughs> here's how here's a way we can do it we can say wheel four we can put the um suspension height here, let's go to v so we can actually see the thing uh, zoom out a little bit if we hit suspension height on this guy and drop him down a little bit even like that we can see which which one dropped they all dropped why did they all drop? Huh. Did I put them upside down? Okay, well, let's just go uh, by trial and error. Um, select them all. Offset back like that. Suspension travel, I keep that a little bit lower. I don't like my thing as bouncy. Friction, a little bit higher. Power, let's give it more power. Dampening and strength. You want more strength. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Stop. That's how strong your, your things are. So you should be actually able to drive now. Okay. Looking good. Now, can we actually drive this thing? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Don't fall over. Okay, so we're seeing we're detecting ice. <laughs> That's good. Yes, guys, we got a buggy. We just can't turn or we flip. 
Oh, <laughs> if I didn't have a gyroscope on right there, I would have flipped. All right, let's play with the settings a little bit more on our wheels. Um, I find one thing that does make them flip is steering, four-wheel four drive steering. So select two of them, and let's turn steering off. Yeah, now that's more like a real car, right? Steers in the front, the back are just the power. And we could even, we could even do that. We could just put it on two-wheel drive, so the front two will not have any propulsion at all. So they're just steering. Now that won't give us very good traction um, going up like hills and stuff, but it's going to drive a lot smoother. Whoa, the bumps in the ice killing us. Um, maybe, let's see, handbrake this thing. Handbrake stops you so quick, it's great. Uh, what else can we do? Let's put our f friction. Let's put our damping up a little bit. And friction higher. It's just these things are just crazy to drive because they always want to flip. Maybe I should have made the wheelbase even wider. Oh, 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 come on, Gyro. Keep me down. Okay. <laughs> I just want to get off the ice. Well, by daytime so that I can actually drive around and look for ores. Oh, there's a tree. There's a tree. Don't hit the tree. A little patch of ice. Oh, we're going to... Nope, don't, 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 don't drive up there. All right. I don't think we could even make it up some of this cliffside if we wanted to. All right, well, I've kind of got to wait for it to be daytime before I can drive much further. So I'm just going to go ahead and park a little bit and wait till it's a little more daytime. I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, guys, the sun has started coming back up. We're still seeing some weird shadows just because the sun is so low on the horizon. That tree just disintegrated in front of me. What is happening to the trees? They are disintegrating. Are you seeing that? Are you seeing that? That was crazy. They're just going away. Oh, now they're back. They're back. <laughs> Good thing I didn't run into them. All right, so we need to head up. This is the natural ramp that we were mentioning earlier that we should be able to drive up. I'm going 100 kilometers an hour over ice, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I would not recommend doing this without a gyro, that's for sure. Okay, we're looking for dark spots on the ground, like that one right there. Let's see. Nope, that's a shadow. It's definitely better to look for ores at noon, because then you don't get fooled by the shadows. Let's see how this thing does off-roading. We could switch to four-wheel drive if we need to, but you can see it wants it really wants to flip. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, we got air. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't be... At, what is this? This rocky area is crazy. I want to get up right up to that top bit. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it. Yeah, I don't think it's going to make it up this mountain. Okay. Let's head back down and look for something a little bit more flat, like over there on the other side of the lake. Let's see how fast we can get this thing going. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Come on, Gyro! Come on, Gyro! Come on, Gyro! Spin! No, no, no. Oh, we land on our roof. How? 